little bit of progress today. Uh, Kieran said, what about ringing up the guy we got the engine off? He had a couple of little lawn tractors, so rung him up. By off chance, he actually had one of the ones that was on my shortlist, one of the ones that will work. He has the right shape of chassis, and it potentially has the right size of engine in it. He seems to reckon it has a 14 or 15 horse engine in it. I think it'll have a 12 and a half to 12, although he says the engine does need attention. So, All right, here is the donor tractor. So it's a hater. 1330 so it's meant to have a 13 horsepower engine in it with a 30 inch uh, deck but the guy who had it last decided to put that bad boy in it so it's a, a Vanguard 16 horsepower single so it's quite a big lump I think he was by the looks of the tires on the back he was looking to make something of it um, a lot of it's been stripped off already but it's more or less complete we actually got it all just for to have so the idea for today is fucking take all this shit off. I take the engine off first. Take the center console off here with the steering wheel, and then strip everything off this piece here because we're going to reuse this piece. And then um, basically take it back to the bare chassis. It's a it's a ladder frame underneath there, so it should be fairly. It's kind of modular and should lend itself quite well to what we want to do. So just gonna get started. Right, so here it is where the engine took off. We've also took the engine mount plate off so we can get down into here. Um, the engine usually has a little tiny, it's probably about a three or four inch pulley on there, but to get the gear ratio right for, for a bit more speed, we're going to widen that. Um, it'll probably be something like a six, seven inch pulley. These little tangs are going to need moved out. They're going to need moved out there. And then also, this gives us the opportunity to remove all these weight, weight blocks quite a few of them Hey, two weeks to make a, a lawnmower tractor? Yeah. Is it happening? No. Spent two days not starting your engine. Once you start that engine, then we'll help you. Right. So, day two of the build. This is the tractor as it was left last night. So last night, uh, it was stripped down to the chassis, and um, but we put the, the steering column tower back on and this, this rear fender, just to kind of get an idea, take a couple of measurements. Today, big day planned like we've got the heavy hitters out uh, we're going to do a lot of work to the rear end we're going to mount the back axle and with any luck build a little frame that goes in under here which will kind of house the uh, well, it'll support the back uh, axle it'll house the, the t-drive uh, the 90 degree drive and it'll also kind of support this piece because uh, the the previous brace for the, for the rear fender was completely rotten had to be cut out so We'll build a stronger one because it's also going to get bounced around like fuck as well. I'm going to be sitting on it like so. It may as well be strong like. I ain't getting any lighter. Uh, so first things first, we're going to take this back off. We're also going to rip the front axle off it all together. Strip it down to the, the two bare chassis wheels. And uh, start doing a little prep work and some welding on that there. So, right, I'll get started. Right, here's the chassis. It's stripped down. There is still a centre brace right there holding the two uh, the two chassis legs together we're going to leave that in just for the moment while I explain what we're going to do with the back end of this so these three bolts here were the original bolts where the transaxle mounted so the transaxle sat about here and what I want to do is um, I want to put this rear axle here so I've got this go-kart rear axle there I want to mount it but it needs to be right in the center of that there We'll get these big axle bearings here, big boys. They're gonna sit about there. But what I want to do, so I can take the axle in and out. So I'll, I'll, I'll have a hole here, but I'm actually gonna cut it right through to the bottom. So when I need to take the axle out, I can drop it out from below. 
So when we clean these two up, I'm gonna have to cut the hole and the slot right through, but then uh, you're gonna need to reinforce that. So we're gonna get a big piece of plate, weld that to it, cut that same profile and slot out, and the, the, the plate will form part of the brace for it. Right, so here's the two, the two uh, chassis rails cleaned up. And I've actually just set them, they're a mirror image of one another. So I'm just setting it over the top here. And right there's where we want that back axle. I'm gonna put a little teeny tiny hole, like two mil, something like that there, right through to show the center line. And it'll go through, transfer onto that back one. And then we take them apart. Then these pieces here have actually salvaged off the uh, the mower deck assembly. Uh, you know, you, you wouldn't use that again, but it is a valuable source of um, just steel. So when we, when we get the, the little hole put in there, then we can start welding this onto here and that's going to form the brace to strengthen after we cut the big U section out of it. So that's going to be the, this, the initial strengthening. So I'll uh, hammer on with that. So we get these two bits here, drill a little teeny tiny hole through to both of them so that'll work, um, that'll give me a reference for the centre point of the axle. Got these big pieces here, cut them down to size, I'm going to set them on there. They have a couple of little holes in them there, we'll actually be able to use those to um, weld through, put three spots in to hold it in place, uh, same on the other side and then we'll run a tack on the underside along there and a tack along the top. Uh, yeah, and then flip the whole thing over, use that little hole that we drill to drill through, and then uh, start the pattern from the from from this side here. Cut the big uh, U slot. Right, so here's the the back of the chassis. So. We've got this piece on here, just braces the thing a little bit, um, and this is where the the bearing mount is going to go, I got there. However, what I need to do is cut a kind of a big a big U-shape there, so, and what that means is uh, if I need to take the axle off for any reason, I can just slide the axle with the, the bearing mount straight up from the underneath and then just bolt it, bolt it into place. Otherwise, what you'd need to do is you'd need to slide the axle out through a hole. So, transferred little pilot holes across. I'm gonna bore them out to 10, 10 and a half. And then this yoke here, I bore it out to six, and then use the hole saw on it, cut the hole, and then just take the rest of the slots out with a grinder. Right, she's sitting with a back axle now. Get the back axle in place. Uh, both sides, both sides we've got the uh, bearing mount. They're just uh, dummied in there with two bolts. But the axles. It needs a wee spacer just between the uh, the bearing housing there and that there flange just to let the bearing move a bit easier. So there's it's on its end. Two rails just put back in place. Um, starting to weld this structure. Now in, in the back there to support the uh, the upper body work. So that's the first bit element of it in. All right, one of the things that we'll encounter is the wind's going to be running right up, right close into here. So this piece here, we're going to need something cut away to allow for the wheel. Now, the wheel's a 15 inch diameter wheel, so half of that, the radius is seven and a half. So we get this piece of rope, put around the axle. From the centre point of the axle, this is obviously easy. Put it there. That's seven and a half. You have a pen. And then what we'll do is cut away to that there, and then that should mean that the the tire won't fall on the the bodywork. Pro tip. Look at that.
there. No, oh, fuck. Watch how much I'd shit in Adding stuff to it until yeah. it just got <laughs> fairly volatile remixer. There you go. We're trying to get upstairs. That's for old people. <laughs>